Hi guys and welcome back to the Black Sea Empire's Pontic Pentapolis. Last time we took a lot of settlements on this coast in Anatolia and we fought quite a few big battles as well which was very very fun. Now we are only nine settlements away from finishing this whole challenge so um, plan wise from now guys is first of all to take out Sinope or whatever's left of Sinope on the coast. They might have an, another settlement inland or something like that but I don't think that they do then what we're going to do guys we do have our three armies so if we have a look at this army this army is very very nice but it will take a bit longer to retrain um so i brought the navy up here we're going to basically take this send the army back to retrain the horse archers up here bring it back across this way and then we'll be good this secondary army is going to march down here all the way to the coast here get across and go back for retraining as well so we're gonna, just going to get a little ship in there potentially a ship in one of these other places as well we don't have the money that's fine and this army is going to get ferried back up north as well next turn what i'm going to do is recruit a few units up here some extra units as well as some in there to take out the last two of those and we'll also have this army here that can take Nyos on too but first things first let's get into this battle against Trapezus again let's go guys and this should be fairly simple guys we've got our horse archer boys and that's what we're going to use let's go and we can pretty much play most of this at triple speed we just want to use all of our ammunition and uh, see how we uh, get on it should be nice and simple it's literally just going to be going back and forth between the guys kept making sure we're always in range of the enemy and trying to shoot them in the back when we can and it is pretty much just back and forth at the moment back and forth back and forth and we've already taken out quite a few of the enemy so uh yeah this shouldn't be too much of a worry and then as soon as they turn their back they just get absolutely savaged so it's good for us when they turn around really good for us and we need to keep on uh, just doing that, making sure that they do keep turning. And there we go. They've turned back around again. Oh, and there we go. I micro. A bit of a mistake there. Bit of a micro mistake. But that's okay. They actually didn't kill any, any of the men. And looks like they're withdrawing now. So we are just going to chase them down. I don't know whether we want to actually charge into them at all. But uh, we will chase them down. And we've pretty much killed them all now anyway. Well, there we go, guys. We actually took four losses. And we killed 318. That's a pretty good KD, isn't it? Nice. What we're going to do now, guys, is get this army back on the ships. I'm not too bothered about Trapezus. Like I say, it's fine them taking these two settlements. They just can't take Trapezus itself. Can we actually recruit here? We can. So I think I will recruit a couple of Greek hoplites um, next turn as well. Now, for safety, we're not going to go too far. We're going to take it nice and safely and that's all well we are also you know uh, retraining this army next turn so or very soon so let's go for that let's also enslave over here and then who do we want to leave behind probably the silesian pirates i'm sure they'll be good garrison troops seen as they're pirates <laughs> um, but anyway uh, we can't really re uh, repair anything let's get you on here and you're gonna go to there probably would be the best option for us so let's end the turn there guys we've got another candidate for adoption let's go for that a suitable husband and uh, we'll find a place for him to go and we've also got a guy coming of age too nice well there's nothing else of too much interest to us in this turn either guys apart from just doing that there we go and let's enslave and that is Sinope dead now too fantastic let's get our guys off the boats up here and then we are going to retrain them all that we can retrain anyway some of them are going to have to come back across to this way so that's why that's going to take a little bit of time we did get some garrison troops down here didn't we see how far we can get them we can get them there no we can't because of the goddamn rebels great uh well what can we leave behind i'd prefer not to leave behind anyone honestly hmm do we have any reb uh, any mercs available no nothing well those rebels are there we have seen them where are they they're there let's just go and kill them should be nice and easy 
and let's keep on moving down the coast and then now we should be able to move these guys so they go in there and then you go into there nice good nice little chain we've got going up that way make sure that we come on the boat as far as we can get this these boats seem a lot slower than the others i don't know why is it do more ships have more movement in here i i genuinely don't know um we've also got aor guys there let's make sure that we are training units up here like i say we kind of wanted more horse archers didn't we so let's get Horse Archer, Horse Archer, Horse Archer. Basically to fill out this army in case we actually do need to fight a full Scythian stack over here. And all of this area is quite unhappy, which is a bit of a shame. But there's not much we can really do about that, is that? And then we can actually get Horse Archers in there too. And in this one, let's just get a Hoplite. That should be good. And then we have this little siege to do. It's only two turns until it dies. Like I say, I'm not bothered about fighting this one itself. We will have to probably toggle Fog of War to find where the settlement is in here because it's all the way up here somewhere. Um, so yeah, or should I just get a spy? I could get a spy and have a look with them. Um, do we have anywhere we could get a spy? I'm assuming over here we can. Yeah, let's get like three spies literally to find that settlement and then i'll do a little bit more building as well guys well we are in a very good spot now guys aren't we we are in a really nice spot unfortunately though down here the seleucids have um blockaded us so we might need to get a couple more ships just in case like what do they have they've just got a single ship so yeah <laughs> i don't really know what they're gonna do um, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get these guys back up to there. We can't actually get quite up all the way. Let's just get to there and then we'll be okay. So yeah, basically guys, for the next couple of turns, I'll probably not say much, but I am going to basically retrain all of the armies, get ready to go, and I'll let you know if anything weird happens. You don't need to watch me basically just retraining these armies, do you? Well, the rebels did sally out of this little settlement over here. And they do have a fairly decent army, of course. So uh, let's get into it, guys. And, of course, the sally out battles start right away, which I always forget, as you guys know. And, uh, yeah, let's bring our boys forward. Come on, guys. Come, 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 come. Quick, 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 quick. And then we have so many units in this army. Let's uh, get them there. Let's get these boys. Um, depends where they're taking their cavalry, honestly. What we're going to do with our own cavalry. But the horse archers, for now, can just chill. If they're going to... Okay, so step cavalry. Looks like it's going over the right-hand side. So we'll probably send our cavalry over that way to deal with it. And uh, we've got two Thranis over here. Let's go and deal with the step archers with him. And uh, yeah, I think we're in a good position. We'll have no idea what they're doing. Are they trying to escape the city? Run away, run away. <laughs> like, that's kind of funny. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're doing. But let's bring our guys there. I'm also going to put them on skirmish mode just so that we, uh, we don't miss anything happening with them, of course. Like, I don't want to miss them getting charged or anything and there goes the first sort of unit nice nice and easy okay these guys can go off uh, that as well and it's just chaos down there isn't it already absolute chaos let's go and kill this step cavalry and they're all already routing so uh, let's get into the step cavalry that is over here and it looks like they're firing plenty of javelins themselves but i think we can probably break them and go and take the city out and these guys should be able to fire now too well here they come here come the step cavalry but they've already taken a huge amount of losses uh so yeah we're doing pretty pretty well and hopefully we can now get through the gates come on boys go 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 get through the gates charge into the step archers and we'll be good nice boys nice let's go well here we go guys back into the city now it's not strictly necessary to do this but yeah, we, I thought it was worth it. 
Let's get in the city and just kill them all off now. Even if this is a draw, though, we should win. So we don't need to be too crazy about it, but... We should, be, uh, we should be in a good position anyway. Well, here we go. We are just at the bottom of the hill now. They still do have a significant amount of troops, especially their general's bodyguard. Um, but yeah, we're fine. Well, there goes the general's bodyguard. We've also got our horse archers here. So maybe we can bring them in if they want to come into the city. I don't think they want to, do they? No, they don't want to. That's fine. We don't actually need them. And then now you guys can be put back on fire at will. And we've also got our General and Prodromoy over here. So I think we can uh, potentially kill the rest of these boys very easily. Let's go. Come on, boys. Straight through. Straight through. Well, there we go. Nice and easy, guys. A nice little victory for us. We did lose a significant amount of troops. But it should be enough now, this army still, to take the last settlement that's rebel. And let's enslave Nyoson. And there we go. We've used three spies in this whole region to finally find... Uh, Sithopolis over here. I'm pretty sure Sithopolis is the right settlement. So now we have to just get there. Luckily, it, it looks like it's not going to take too long to get there. But look how far away it is from the Black Sea. I'm sure that's the right one. I've followed the lines, basically, of the regions. Um, we have some rioting in Hermonessa. Oh, like, all of these settlements over here are really unhappy all the time, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but that's fine. And we've got another guy coming of age. Wow, we'll have to send him further north then as well. And Trapezus is back under siege again as well. By Trapezus themselves, which is really annoying. But what can you do? We now have all of our armies, though, ready to pretty much go. These guys just need to go into there for their retraining. We'll get that done, and then this army is pretty much ready to go. What I'll do is actually swap them out for something else. So there we go. And yeah, we'll swap them out for this Prodromoy. Once they're ready, we are therefore retrained with everyone, I believe. Where's my other ships? There they are. How far can you get? Not all the way. So... Yeah, it's a bit of a shame we can't get there. So we're just having to go very slow with this army. I think with this army, what we'll do is we'll use this one against Pontus. Because I don't think we need as many horse archers against them. Whereas the other army that's got more horse archers will use against Bithynia. Um, whereas... This army is going to be used against Scythia. It's pretty much ready to go now as well. Let's get rid of all those three. Is that everything? We'll also get rid of them. And there we go. We've got you. We've got you. We've got you two. And how many is that? We need two more units. Um, well, we might as well take... We might as well just merge all those guys together and just take that then. And we are going to go and attack um, the Scythians now as well, who are our ally, of course. But we basically want to kind of do all of this at the same time so that we don't have to fight extended wars. <laughs> um, but let's end the turn one more time, guys. Right, let's take the plunge and get into our ally, the Scythians. Now, they may come down here and attack one of our settlements on this side. If that's the case, we're going to just have to fight them. Hopefully, we can take these two and then try and stave them off. Maybe by maybe by taking Uwaspe over there as well. Trappers are still besieging us down. We're actually going to lose that, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, that's another one where we're going to have to use something else these guys can now get dropped off on this land let's come all the way through it's going to take a little bit of a while but if we if this ship doesn't die we can jump back on there as well now let's get these boys together and let's get on the the big ships and you are going to go and fight by uh, by by Zantium, by Thinia. <laughs> Fantastic, right? Let's go. It's all coming together now, guys. It's all coming together. And unfortunately, these ships were attacked, so uh, that is a shame. Well, seeing as that is the case, I think what we'll do is we will attack Nicomedia with this army rather than the other one, and we'll send the other one up north to deal with Pontus um, all the way to there, is it? I think... It's that one and that one. And then we need to take Trapezus or Kerasus back as well. Because Trapezus has 
taken that. So we are on the march again, boys. We are on the march again. Nice. Now we can siege down Scythopolis in the north as well. Fantastic. Let's just auto-resolve this one against the Scythians. And let's enslave. And then let's just move straight up to the north into that one. There we go. They haven't even mustered any, force, uh, any forces to uh, repel us yet. But that should be okay. Let's repair the walls and let's build that in there. That should be good. And then we've we've kind of cleaned up this whole area apart from that settlement there. And yeah, we've got Bithynia, the Pontus, and Trapezus to go. Let's go. Well, guys, I am back and I did take a little break because I was starting to feel a little bit ill. So uh, I decided to take a break and now I am properly ill. So <laughs> that didn't work out very well. Um but overall, we are fine. Uh, we are going to get this done, I believe, today. So uh, let's auto-resolve that one. 282 losses in that. That seems a little bit obscene, honestly, but that's fine. Not a problem. Let's stick the 20 in there. So, yeah, guys, if I do maybe speak a little bit less than usual, um, that will be why. Maybe I'll do a little bit more editing of this than I usually would. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think I need to edit it crazily um, anymore. So, uh, yeah, let's get a couple of these boys in here as uh, governors for these two areas. And then we've got our guys in the north. Let's go after Scythopolis up here. It says that we're going to lose. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, do we have any mercs available? Oh, we have loads of nice mercs available, honestly. Mercenary Sarmatians, Cataphracts. I mean, we don't really want Cataphracts, but I'll take the Horse Archers. That's a big, that's a nice bit of bants with the Horse Archers, isn't it? Let's go. Well, the gates actually open, guys, but we are going to knock down the gate, uh, the, the walls, just so we can get in a bit easier, and also hopefully it will allow us to, um, do a bit more firing over the walls, shall we say, and kill a few more men. We should be able to get the step cavalry pretty good. The rest of these guys, yeah, should be okay. And we should be able to fire at quite a few of them. So let's go. Well, I'm bringing my uh, Prodromoy up to the walls as well to try and hopefully get rid of some of these step axemen. And uh, yeah, we're able to fire quite well across the walls, but not amazingly, honestly. So let's get these guys in straight away. We're also going to bring these guys in, and then hopefully we can sort of dominate the area with our cav more than anything. Well, now we've managed to get some of the uh, the step axemen and the step cavalry into us over here, so that's looking rather good. What I'm thinking of doing is potentially charging these step axemen, and uh, then all we've got is two step cavalry, I believe. Oh no, we've got um, some archers as well, but overall we're pretty good position, aren't we? And now, let's bring our horse archers in. That's going to be the fun part. And I think we'll go for the charge on the step axemen here. Let's uh, rally the men with our general so he doesn't die. Most of this is Prodromoy, unfortunately. So, it's not going to be hugely strong. Especially if they charge like that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, it's it's fine. And then we've got our, uh, our horse archers on the way too. They're struggling to get in through the gates. Um, but that's okay. And the step axemen are putting up quite a large bit of a fight honestly but <laughs> what can you do we're just gonna let our general fight them it'll be fine well there we go we got rid of them very nice indeed and now it's just a case of firing up onto the town square cool i think honestly let's just go and charge into there i don't think there's any point messing around too much here and here we go we've got our sort of horse archers just basically uh firing at the guys and we're going to charge our infantry and in. they should be able to kill the step cavalry pretty easily because, of course, the Step Cavalry um, is quite lightly armoured. So now it's basically just a case of uh, firing away. Okay, why are you just by yourself? Why did you guys not camp? I didn't, I didn't want to fight this guy just by myself. And now he's lost all of his uh, sort of ammo and everything. That's okay. General, what are you doing? Go! <laughs> did I not ask you to leave? I'm sure I did. I think the pathing's screwed. Look at him. He's, he's stuck. He's stuck. Can you at least go that way? That would be good. Maybe we'll come and save him. But there we go. I think we just charge in now. Well, there goes the general. And uh, that was pretty easy in there. Nice. Let's go. That is the very far north one done. And let's exterminate up here because we need to make sure that they're going to be happy, which uh, looks like they're not. 
Let's go for roads as well so we can actually move away from this region if we really want to. I mean, there's not a huge amount of point right now, but <laughs> like, where would we even go? I suppose towards uh, Scythia. Um, and then basically this army is just going to defend against Scythia. If they declare, like, decide to attack any of the settlements, they'll go and deal with them. And then the rest of these guys are all on ships, right? Apart from you. Um, and then the other guys are on these ships, ready to attack Pontus. And then finally, we need to also take Kerasus off Trapasus. And that'll be us done, I believe, guys. Let's just check that. Well, there we go. As you can see, four more settlements. And that is it. Well, uh, three, four. And that's everything. Wow. And yeah, this one, as you can see, is the right one. I was worried slightly that we'd taken the wrong one there. But <laughs> look at this region. <laughs> Why? Why? But anyway, um, let's end the turn there, guys. Well, here we go. As expected, Bithynia has attacked. And as we spoke about, it's a relatively decent army, but we have a better one. So, And we've even got Zistaphore now in this army, so this should be rather fun. Let's go, guys. Well, this is a very experienced contingent of hoplites. We've even got a gold star hoplite over here, giving it 43 defense, 17 morale, and 18 melee attack. That is pretty darn insane. We pretty much just need to defend um, over here. I, I mean, being on the hill is nice and all, but honestly, like, let's just go here because we basically just want our horse archers okay maybe slightly forward because of the kill like there because so we just want our horse archers to do all the damage basically before we even get fighting so um yeah let's do that and the same thing with this lot guys they're all like silver experience so like the most experienced guys have 17 missile attack least experience has 13 and then sort of the the mid range is your 15s and 16s so yeah, that's pretty good amount of missile attack for a horse archer. And our main thing we're going to try and do now is get rid of all of this cavalry. And then basically we've won the battle at that point. And they are falling so quickly to our missiles here. This is awesome. This Look at this. This one we've not even set up yet and they're already like dying. <laughs> Very good. Let's see if we can kill that general as well. That'd be cool. And then what do we have? We've got Hippogontistai. And we've got another Hippocontist there. That's that Asian cavalry completely killed as well before we've even get going. Nice. Like, uh, yeah, we're in a pretty nice spot right now. I think we can afford to come forward with our army. We don't need to wait back anymore. And look at this. The general's bodyguard is already basically dead. <laughs> it's just an obscene amount of damage. That go There goes him. There goes him. He's already dead. What do we have? We have some Peltas, some Acontistai, and then the Hippocontistai. These guys are getting targeted slightly more. Luckily, they are on an uphill slope. So, uh, yeah, should be able to fire down on these guys. And that's nearly all of their cavalry dealt with already. Very nice indeed. Well, here we go. This last Hippocontistai to deal with. And then these guys as well over here who were absolutely destroying. This should be really nice and easy for the rest of this battle, guys. Very cool. Well, that is pretty much all of their cavalry save for their general dealt with. So what we can do now is just run through all of these archer sort of units. Same thing over here. We can also get our cavalry ready to do some dirty work while they charge in. Uh, I mean, they do have Romfire Foroy in here somewhere. So we've got to remember, of course, they are a very good unit. But um, yeah, we should be fine. These guys are already sort of um, doing that. We can get right behind them. And unfortunately, they are quite slow, this unit of horse archers, remember? Which is slightly weird, but what can you do? And then we need to kill that general's bodyguard. And then we'll be good. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, engage, guys. Let's just engage. Come on, let's engage. See if we can get them all. And there we go. Breaking all of these boys now. Very nice. And we've nearly already killed the Bithynian general's bodyguard. Awesome. Do we just go for this charge? With our brand new Zistafori. I think we do. Rally the men. We've got L Glorious Mento Man. And here we go. Oh my god. That was quite a juicy charge. Even into uh, to Spearmen. Led by the generals. And that should be able to break them honestly. Um, and then you guys. Yeah. 
I mean, we're, we're pretty good now, aren't we? Oh, there we go. I knew I'd make a mistake at some point. And that is what? Hoplites. Yep. Yeah. Well, you're going to struggle to uh, to fight us here, guys. Well, now we've chased down enough of these boys. Let's come back over here. Start firing into them. We actually didn't really take many losses in terms of our cavalry there at all. We've also got these guys up here, hopefully firing into the back. There goes the majority of their front line. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. And then we'll bring these guys down here, down to there. And uh, let's kill these hoplites over here too. Nice. And uh, do we just go for another charge? I think so. Let's again rally. Come on, guys. I know you're tired, but uh, you can still do a good job for us. Well, hopefully. I thought that charge was going to work that time, but unfortunately it didn't. So, yeah, that's fine, though. We've still got our troops over here. And uh, we've got our guys over this way, too. These boys have decided that uh, they wanted to charge, but they're now broken. That's okay. And then what else do we have? Pretty much nothing else. I think that's a glorious victory, honestly. And these guys completely have run out of ammo now. So, uh, nice job by them all there. Very nice. And there we go, guys. A glorious little victory. Well, look at that. We couldn't have another glorious victory before the end of this campaign, could we, guys? Amazing. 204. That's got to be the MVP. 199. The horse archers just coming in. Absolutely ham again. Glorious. And I think we enslave Nicomedia. Let's go. Ooh, look at Herman Nasser over here. Not good. Well, let's get this boat moving, guys. And, and how do we want to do this? Do we want to just drop off over there, just directly on Pontus? I think we do, yeah. They don't have anything in there. They're Mascura. Um, so, yeah, let's also, like, come and have a look around here just to see what's going on. Looks like they've got a couple of armies on the way. But basically, we need... This piece of land, this one, and this one. So I'm hoping we can, like, chain through it quick enough so that we don't get anything else taken from us. I've put a couple of extra units in there, and then Herman Ass is just going to have to deal with it. I don't think there's anything else to do on this turn, guys. So, um, yeah, let's end the turn there. Kios wants to demand money for a trade agreement. No, time. thank you. We got a candidate for adoption. That is fantastic. There we go. Um, and yeah, he can just go wherever. And I saw this Worthy Live ends um, message here, guys. And I thought it was going to be Roygos. And that would have been very, very upsetting. Um, but fortunately, it's not Roygos. So um, yeah, bit of a shame that's in Mesembria. We need another guy in there soon. Uh, and I think I do have one um, from up here. Yes, I do actually. So uh, yeah, go into Mesembria, my friend. Well, I'm thinking we might as well try and open the gates with a spy here, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Killed instantly. Great. Let's uh, attack our ally. Yes, that is what we need to do. We've got no one else to attack at the moment. I'm just defending over here. We've got these boys who can just defend as well. That is a rebel. Just knock him back. And uh, yeah, let's keep on coming down. And then over here, we're just defending against Bithynia as well. So... We're just kind of defending our lands along the edges, which that is what our lands is. It's just the edge of the sea everywhere. Um, and just making sure we are, you know, covering the whole coast, which, of course, we are. Very glorious indeed. But uh, we can't get into that, that area straight away. So uh, let's end the turn there, guys. And Armenia wants trade rights okay. as well. Cool. Oh, here we go, boys. Nice. We have... A large Pontic army that is coming to attack. I mean, this is all horse archers, this army. So, I don't think this is going to be an issue. They do actually have their own horse archers. Only eight of them. But that is some. Um, the rest of these guys have very little armor. So, they should not be a problem at all. So, well, let's go. And once again, a gloriously flat battle map for our horse archers. And once again, the main thing is just getting rid of all their cavalry first. Um, which, let's be honest, isn't that much cavalry. Um, and then we can probably just mass charge the rest of this and they'll all break. And their cavalry is getting um, thoroughly, thoroughly destroyed right now, which is nice. Um, not much more we can really do, really. Just just fire at them, kill them, and then we're going to fire at the inv uh, infantry as well. And that is basically all the cavalry dead now, so it's time to start firing on the infantry. Hopefully um, at the back of them. 
But honestly, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to try and use all of our ammo and uh, get rid of these guys. They're not very heavily armored, most of these troops. So it shouldn't be an issue. And already quite a few of them are uh, routing. Especially sort of the archers and all that sort of thing. They do have a general here, but yeah, it's not exactly the best general in the world. A lot of these guys are impetuous, so that means they won't even they won't break, um, even if they're getting ruined. But I think we'll just go for a cheeky little charge in here, and then the rest of them are going to come and take on our infantry, but shouldn't really matter. And it looks like this is literally just all sort of slingers and stuff now, so we're just going to charge. We've also got the general here, Asian Royal Bodyguard, so they are good generals. And uh, as you can see, they are massing to attack our infantry, but it shouldn't really be uh, too bad. Hopefully, these guys can get rid of most of the general's bodyguard before we even get there. Come on, guys. Are you not firing? Ah, oh, they're off fire. Well, that's why. Whoops. Bit of a mistake there from me, but oh well. And instantly, the general's bodyguard starts uh, absolutely getting ruined here. And I think the poor general is going to go for a charge. Fair play. Fair play. Well, there we go. Both generals are now dead for both armies. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. We're now just going to hem in um, all of these guys over here. All of these uh, sort of infantry and just kill them. The poor guys. This is literally just like the square of death. <laughs> the arrow of death. <laughs> Very fitting name, actually, isn't it? And the Gatling guns are definitely going off right now. I've sped it up. But look at this, guys. <laughs> It's pretty good. Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> We've got a single guy behind us. Like, what is that? I, I think we'll just end the, ba end the battle on that note. Very nice. 100 dead. 1,500 casualties. And we didn't actually use anything other than our horse archers there. Well, that is a very fitting battle. If that is the last battle, that is a glorious battle. But I, I don't know. Maybe it's not. We'll see. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, here comes another army. <laughs> just gonna do exactly the same thing i mean th are they gonna learn probably not <laughs> and again it's just exactly the same sort of army um so maybe i'll edit this one down a little bit more because i'm just gonna do exactly the same thing guys but let's see well here we go again it's a, a bit a bit of deja vu isn't it guys <laughs> and once again we are just ruining the cavalry especially when they all stand together like that we absolutely ruin them so, uh, yeah, let's keep getting away from their sort of um, skirmisher units, though, and just keep killing the cavalry. Well, I don't think we need to worry about the cavalry anymore. So um, let's bring our guys around this way and see what we can start doing to um, some of the rest of the infantry. Looks like they are being slightly cleverer this time and uh, spreading their guys out. So that's going to make it harder for us to sort of um, get to them, especially like this, especially when they do these little charges. I think that's a good little tactic for them to do it makes it a lot harder for us to get around them of course so uh yeah it's good it's good for them to do that but it's not good for us but it's uh you know it's fine we've still got a lot of ammo haven't we this time they're going a lot quicker towards our infantry so they i guess they have learned from their mistakes somewhat <laughs> somewhat what are these guys though these are all like slingers so um let's just get into them and then uh, you can see just like how many we just kill with our arrows when they turn their backs so, yeah, we're, we're doing all right, aren't we, guys? And there we go. Those boys completely cleaned up. Let's uh, turn the fire at will back on. I'm going to charge. Actually, let's not. Okay, yep, yeah, go for the charge there. And uh, hopefully we're able to take out their general too. It's a little bit of a bigger general this time, but it's still not the best general in the world. He's not massive, and he's not going to be able to catch us. And there you can see he's already dying quite heavily. So, yeah, now, yeah, they are actually coming close this time. Fair play to them. We're actually going to turn fire at will on for our boys over here. Wow. And there goes the general. He has been killed. So, um, yeah, let's keep on coming forward. And exactly the same thing. We're just going to trap them in here. Let's, uh, we might as well come forward with our men now that, now that they're that close. We might as well hold them. And uh, we still have plenty of ammo as well. And they, like, instantly routed. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, also rally the men. Arasipos. Where is Roigos? Is Roigos? Oh, Roigos was at Bithynia, wasn't he? So, at least he has got to have a glorious last battle of this episode, too. Nice. Well, there we go, guys. Nice and easy. I think we'll just end it there. Because how many do they have left? Yeah, they've got no one left. Fantastic. 
Another glorious battle. Horse Archer's doing all of the heavy lifting again. My only worry now is that they do it again. Okay. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> Good. Well then, let's uh, leave Themyscira completely. I'm thinking we'll just leave behind these sort of uh, 76 Galatian Warband. And that is plenty enough to keep them happy. Next one we need to go to is this one. I am kind of scared that they're going to send another massive army after us, but... Honestly, that's not a problem at all, is it? We're just going to defend Nicomedia over here. And we're just going to defend over this way, kind of, too, I, I guess. Let's see how far we can go. I mean, we could go for Uuspe over here, so let's do that. Let's take this settlement as well. Okay, there's a guy in the background. Oh, that is really annoying. Look at these big armies. Uh, they really don't like us anymore, do they? <laughs> um, but yeah, this this should be a really easy battle. Um, we'll just use our horse archers to kill this. And we'll ram down the gates and kill everyone else. Nice. Well, here we go, guys. Let's see where those reinforcements come in from. I actually can't see them at the moment, but um, that's okay. We don't really need more than... Uh, one guy on the gates here and there they are they're, they're actually over this way so we have to go up a hill and through the trees to uh, get to them that's not a problem we should be able to uh, get rid of them rather easily well here comes the uh, skirmisher cav looks like they're gonna have a bit of the action that's fine uh main thing is just killing off these guys if they go for the charge that's really not a problem for us because we have overwhelming numbers when i say overwhelming Quite a lot of troops. Well, we've gotten to charge the uh, skirmisher cav. See what's happening. There we go. We managed to break these guys. Good. Now all we need to do is just sandwich the rest of these. And as you can see, they are dying quite easily. Obviously, they do have Uzonoi and Thurioforoi. So slightly better units against missiles than normally we'll come up against. Um, but overall, we should be okay, shouldn't we? And there goes the gate. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send our Thurio Foroy in and our General in. And uh, yeah, we should be good. And then we just need to kill the rest of these boys. <laughs> well, things are progressing pretty nicely over here. I do get kind of wondered sometimes why you tell them to do this and then they just literally charge in. Like, why can they not do the other thing but it's fine i mean it's fine for us now and that looks like we've pretty much killed all of these boys over here what do they have left tiny couple of units of thurio foroi and that's it we've pretty much just stood in between them and shot them to death so uh yes uh, there we go that's all of them now i think uh wait no they've still got some units somewhere okay and that looks like that is um Okay, they've got three Cappadocian cavalry. I, I don't think that's going to be a problem now. <laughs> well, there you are. We actually lost about 100 troops, so slightly more than I anticipated, but overall a nice little victory again. So once again, let's exterminate this settlement and uh, let's destroy the Shrine to Men. <laughs> I always laugh when I see that name. And then finally, we have one final thing, one final settlement to take. Okay, they're not very happy there. Do we have any mercenaries available? Like, literally none. That's okay. Let's see if we can put a Thurio Foroi in there. And now I don't think they can get past here without getting stopped by one of the uh, the forts. So there we go. And now we can siege down this Trapezian settlement. Hopefully they send an army to fight us here. Because I'd much rather do that than siege this down. But, oh well. And that is the last settlement. Unless anyone takes any any of ours, which, let's be honest, that's bound to happen at some point, isn't it? Now I've said that, so um, let's end the turn, guys. Yes, and Trapezus did decide to attack. Nice. And look at what they have. Absolutely nothing. This should be rather, rather easy again. The main thing is letting this army come in this time, rather than going and destroying this one early. So that we um, don't make them run away, basically. <laughs> Yes! So let your battle cry be victory! Victory and honor! 
Yes. Well, here we go. The final the battle, guys. The final countdown. Um, I have got this army here in the trees. Um, so, yeah. We just need to let these guys come onto the battle map a little bit before we start going. Just basically to stop them from running away. And, uh, yeah, let's speed this up. Well, I think they've had enough time. So, um, let's come forward. Let's reveal our hand out of the trees. We uh, will run. And, uh, yeah, looking good. Here come the horse archers. That'd be a scary sight if you were a trapezian, wouldn't it, my friends? Here they come from over the trees. There we go. Da, 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 da. Let's go. And as the final arrows fall, guys... This has been a very fun campaign. I have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed having, like, sort of a different challenge rather than sort of something generic like, oh, conquer Greece or something. No, conquer the Black Sea. <laughs> conquer the whole of the border regions of the Black Sea. Yeah, quite fun. Quite fun. And, of course, we've been able to use our glorious horse archer boys, which I just love to use. It's always fun when you use horse archers. Even if you are just destroying enemies like we've been doing. It's still fun. <laughs> well, I think let's see if we can catch this Prodromoy off guard over here. Looks like we're not going to. Let's turn fire at will off. Oh, we did manage to break it at least, though. Well, that's one good thing. I don't think we're going to be able... Like, we need to make sure we kill that general, remember? So, is that general coming? It looks like he is. Okay, get away, get away, get away, man. Get away, and make sure we chase all of these guys down, including... Uh, we're going to turn them on fire at will so they can shoot at the Prodromoy. Looks like they're not going to. But there we go. We need to make sure we kill that general. Well, there goes the general. Nice. That is good for us. And then the rest of this. There is still cavalry in here. So we do need to be wary of that. But the rest of it is, yes, just trash, really. Um, we shouldn't have a problem killing it. It's just, oh, this is so annoying. Our guys take forever to catch up over this way. Well, here we go. One of our glorious horse archers is going to be lost. There's only a single unit of it left. Killed by the Thurio Foroi, it would seem. Um, but, yeah, we're in a good spot now. Got these uh, Prodromoi over here chasing us down. Um, so, yeah, we're in, a, we're in a really good spot. Well, the main trouble is actually going to be the Thurio Foroi because we don't do much damage to it still. Um, with its armor and all that sort of thing. So And its shield. So, yeah. Uh, that is the main issue, but if we can get rid of the Prodromoy, I'll be happy. And our general is generally struggling against Greek Peltasts. <laughs> oh dear, that's rather embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, general. He's gonna die. No, not like this. Not like this, bro. And now all that's left is a few broken Peltasts. All that sort of thing. And they're going after the general. Fair play to them. Fair play to them. There we go, getting... Uh, oh, they broke already. And there we go. The Prodromoy should be the last of them. Let's go. There we go. Well, there we go, boys. We lost like 60 men, but we actually lost 100 because we did 40 uh, friendly fire. Well, <laughs> we killed uh, 900. Very nice indeed. Well, let's uh, exterminate. Fantastic. And we also did siege down uh, Uspe over here. We might as well take it now just for the bants. A crushing defeat. <laughs> Well, that is funny. That is funny to uh, note to end on. Um, <laughs> oh, glorious. Well, I think it's done, guys. Let's have a look. Is this victory, my friends? Is this victory? So let's just check. We're all good around here. We're all good with this one. I can't believe we actually went all the way up there for that. We've got a settlement that can upgrade there, but it is on the coast. And all of the coast is owned by us. Ah, absolutely glorious, my friends. Honestly, it's taken longer than I expected, but it's also probably been slightly easier than I expected as well. But I think that is partly due to the uh, the supremacy of the horse archers, shall we say. But yeah, glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's, uh, let's go over everything then as well, guys. If you did enjoy this series, guys, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out um, and get these videos to more people so let's have a look at our ranking we are ninth 28th in military wow i think the thing is with our military 
Like, in terms of the amount of troops, we don't have that many. But we've just got really powerful troops because we've got the horse archers. We've got number one in production. Sixth territorially, which is kind of surprising. Financially, eighth. Uh, population of sixth as well. We are enemies of basically everyone around the Black Sea. Uh, we have a few trade partners and only one ally. The best say the only ally that didn't betray us in the end. Let's go for the top five factions and this is our line is there anyone else we'll stick the antigonids in there too because they'll probably be at number six six i think that's everything really um so as you can see overall ranking we are still quite low compared to all the massive boys militarily wise oh very low look at that look at these india um ptolemies and Seleucids. very very high production wise we are number one very cool territorially Look at that. Look how uh, quickly we have expanded there. We're nearly bigger than Carthage, and we are bigger than Rome and the Antigonids currently. Over uh, about 80 settlements. Very nice indeed. Financials, that graph needs to be slightly smaller. That's chaos. Um, population, again, we've gone over Rome and the Antigonids. And there we go. Let's have a look in here. So we currently make about 129,000 a turn, and we spend 97,000, obviously, without any construction um, this turn. 43,000 from farming, only 2,600 from mining, so not much. 48,000 from trade, so we're starting to get to the point where trade overtakes mining, and taxes of 28,000 as well. In terms of units, we've only got 206. Now, that does actually shock me that we've only got 206 units. But that costs us 65,000 governor's wages, and that's about everything. Very nice indeed. I don't think there's anything else that we want to have a look at, is there? But no, we've got some glorious military forces, and that has been really fun, guys. So if you did enjoy this, if you did enjoy this campaign, please do like and subscribe. Let's just toggle the fog of war off so we can see our empire in its pure glory in the world going around the whole of the black sea it's been quite an adventure hasn't it my friends very very fun indeed and we've done a lot of damage to a lot of factions without actually taking the faction out like look at pontus we've just taken the coast and gone nah see you later mate same with trapezus uh, same with bithynia luckily we didn't need to fight the galatians same with a lot of the thracian fact factions like the Adrisians. Um, as well so um yeah it's been really good fun and i hope you did enjoy please do like and subscribe guys and i will see you all again on the next video and once again massive thank you to the channel members of cowie pascal and david if you are interested in supporting the channel guys you can do down below for as little as one dollar a month but without further ado i will see you all again on the next video